Igazi in Stanton, and I'm a director of Igazini, an international lighting company. Igazini is one of Europe's leading commercial artificial lighting manufacturers. We have been in existence for over 50 years and working on commercial projects throughout the world. We are here today at Universal Assembly Unit Studio in London, previewing a light art piece we commissioned called Light Pollination. My name is Samantha Lee. I co-direct Universal Assembly Unit, which is a digital art studio. Igazini approached us to come up with a design for an interactive art piece that would be available to the general public. It was to open up a conversation about how digital media was influencing the way that we could use lighting in the cities. And the concept came up from conversations looking at the way that light behaves in nature. We were interested in how we could create a light behavior which was responsive to human interaction. So you can use your phone or any light source to influence these trails of light that flow across the surface. You may stumble upon a sensor. Depending on the light intensity that you're feeding it, that will define how big of a reaction it's going to have. The piece is made up of 20,000 individual LED points, and each of these points is created using fiber optics. The challenge for us was to find a way to control that many points of light. What's running the interaction of the piece is custom-built software written to take the information from the sensors that are on the surface and then create these turbulence fields that are disturbing the trails of light. When people see the piece, we want them to think beyond just the technicalities of it and think it has some magic and wonder to it. In the same way that you don't necessarily understand the mechanisms when you see fireflies, but be able to feel that way about something which is artificial, then that sort of opens up the conversation beyond just what a product can do, but also how it can be more intrinsic to human nature in the way that maybe we want to design our environments to be.